When Tesla introduced its first model back in 2006, it was hard to imagine that in just 14 years, the automotive world would be on the verge of a new revolution. Governments of different countries introduced different support measures at the legislative level by subsidizing the sale of electric cars both directly and through various bonuses. However, this whole rainbow world is currently facing a big problem. Namely, the limited capacity and high cost of traditional lithium-ion batteries. But it's also obvious that lithium-ion battery technologies have advanced significantly over the past five years. Modern batteries are known by advanced solutions that provide both a long-range and relatively faster and safer charge. Such a breakthrough was made possible since leading chemical and technological companies, for example LG Chem, Panasonic, etc., set about manufacturing batteries for electric cars. But that's why, regardless of cars' brands, they are all dependent on third-party suppliers. Tesla's partnership with those companies has led to an industry-leading battery cost. But over the past few months, the automaker has been rumored to be working on making its own battery cells in the Fremont factory. At the same time, the company has already spent its quota on government subsidies, so it needs breakthrough solutions that will help strengthen leadership over its competitors, such as Volkswagen and BMW, etc. And the first and probably the most logical step on this way is to create a cheaper and more capacious battery pack. The still-secret project is called Roadrunner that aims at achieving mass production of a new battery cell that comes with more energy density and a lower price. Although there is no clear statement from Tesla on starting the battery production, there is enough indirect evidence of their work. The company has bought cell production lines at its Nevada factory owned by Panasonic and acquired Hypar Systems, a well-known company providing state-of-the-art equipment for battery cells manufacturing. The revolutionary leap in terms of development of new battery design is likely to occur through the acquisition of Maxwell Technologies from San Diego. Maxwell is specialized in developing ultra-capacitor energy storage technologies made with dry electrodes and is actively exploring the solid-state technology. So what are the main advantages of dry electrode batteries in comparison to the current cells? One of the key advantages is the formation of a durable and tough electrode, which can significantly increase the battery's life. It's not accidental that Elon Musk announced the new battery pack designed explicitly for a million miles of operation. This achievement will obviously provide better resale value for the vehicles. The second benefit is the higher energy density that ensures more range for an EV equipped with the dry electrode. According to the manufacturer, the energy consumption of more than 300 watt-hours per kilogram has already been achieved on the battery prototypes using these technologies. The challenge for the future is a breakthrough to the energy density level of more than 500 watt-hours per kilogram. And finally, dry electrode batteries are easier, faster and cheaper to manufacture, giving low-cost pilot manufacturing capabilities thanks to which the batteries will cost $100 per kilowatt-hours already in 2020, which will enable the price of Tesla's batteries to drop by about 20%. The environmental benefits are that these new technologies feature environmentally friendly materials without poisoning solvents and dangerous cobalt. So, we might shortly see Teslas on the road that will be equipped with cheaper cells with higher energy density, that would enable the vehicles to achieve longer range with less batteries. This will help Tesla to jump once more over its closest European rivals by offering efficient EVs with much more affordable price, which could be comparable with most popular ICE vehicles. We could expect more information during Tesla's Battery Investor Day event when Elon Musk will probably announce the production of the battery cells. The next achievements in the processes of battery evolution will be the solid-state batteries, about which we will speak in one of our upcoming videos. So, subscribe to the channel to continue discovering the marvelous EV world with us.